Right, welcome back. Um, right, this week we are going to work on the word gig, as mentioned in the uh, the previous video. It's got a bit old, it's got a bit noisy. I took it down and it's got a bit rusty. Well, it was rusty while it was still up there, I just didn't paint it. So, it's looking a bit pitiful, really, isn't it? It's all bent out of shape, a bit rusty, and That noise on the roof then, that was almost crashing through, was a huge wood pigeon. For some reason, every time I come in here, he comes and he lands on the roof and he stamps up and down all the way. I mean, it's 28 foot long and I've got 28 feet of stamping. Anyway, don't know why he does it. Maybe he's reincarnated. I may have upset him in a past life. Don't matter. So, so it all needs straightening up. It needs a lick of paint and it needs something on top of there, but we'll see what happens. Now, in my wisdom, I decided I didn't want this flying off the top of the roof of the workshop and uh, taking someone's head completely off. So I welded the nut on at the end of the camshaft. Ooh, we took my beard then. Um, so I'm gonna cut that off, paint it, do something with it. Yeah. Let's get to it, shall we? The way this works, it's such a simple design, it's unbelievable. Anyone can make one of these. Even if you made it out of wood and a bit of threaded bar, you don't need this steel construction. But you've basically got a camshaft with offset rings. And obviously, as you rotate, the offset ring becomes larger on one side than it does the other. So you alternate those to whatever you're happy with. <clears throat> so you'll have a rod that's, that's three and moving that rests on that ring. Well, in my case, a washer, but who cares? Can you get any more simple than that? Obviously, the smaller the washers, the different effect you're going to have. And that one needs filing down a little bit inside. It's not quite free. And if you have them all offset so that they're staggered, then everything on top will move differently. And obviously, the wind, the, um, what is it, propeller? I don't know. But the thing that goes on the end, anyway, that goes on there and that's what powers it. If you really wanted to be smart, you could put a little uh, motor on the back and, and draw a little bit of electricity for, I don't know, an outside light or something like LED light. I don't know. Maybe we'll get to that one day. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just give this a real quick lick of paint. I'm not, it's so far up in the air, 
I'm not worried what what the wells look like or if you know the the paints not sticking right it's just going to protect it a little bit isn't it I suppose That's drying. I don't think it takes long to dry. Uh, we'll go make a start on this thing. You know what? I quite like this look. I'm thinking of varnishing this. I don't know why. I just like it. Rusty, old. Yeah, I might clear varn, clear lacquer it. Put a few strips. I don't know, so it makes patterns. First of all, I've got to sort this out. Disgraceful. Okay, it's not quite a dove, <laughs> it, but it resembles a bird, I suppose. So yet again, I'm talking to a phone that's not actually recording, so you didn't see any of that. Anyway, I've built the little bird. It flaps. And that's going to sit on top of the end of the whirly gig and these will go up and down and the bird will go like that. <laughs> I'll check to see if he's recording this time. I just spin it. You kind of get the idea of it. It works. <laughs> I don't know, simple things, eh? If you enjoy the sort of stuff that I get up to, and it's entertaining, uh, there's another couple of YouTubers that I um, I watch quite regular. Uh, the Bearded Woodworker and the Bearded Giant. Two brothers, separate YouTubers. Um, but they get up to all sorts of stuff, so if you like my sort of stuff, it's quite similar. So head over, check them out, I'll leave the links below. Right, thanks for watching. Um, as always, hope you enjoyed the video. It wasn't quite a build, uh, but it was a restoration, I suppose. Um, it's turned out okay. I'm happy with it. Anyway, 
thanks for watching and I'll see you on Friday.